then the body can heal and, and return to normal. And healing generally uh, is improved by 60-70%. If inflammation is the cause of all these health disorders, then I know not grounding is the cause of inflammation because if the body is grounded, you can't have inflammation. We have so much inflammation in the body, and it comes out in illnesses. We go to a doctor with all these complaints, but a lot of it is silent inflammation. So how do we reduce inflammation? In simple terms, grounding is literally putting your bare feet on the ground. When you do that, you're in contact with the earth, and Mother Earth is endowed with electrons. And these electrons are literally absorbed through your feet. It's like taking handfuls of antioxidants. Grounding means connecting to the earth to support the specific function of the organs of your body. It supports the body as a whole, but it specifically supports organ systems down to the tissues and the cellular function of the entire body. You could take anybody who has chronic pain. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter what's wrong and ground them, and you're going to have a significant reduction in pain. You're going to stop the inflame portion. That stops almost immediately. Then the body can heal and, and return to normal. And healing generally uh, is improved by 60-70%. If inflammation is the cause of all these health disorders, then I know not grounding is the cause of inflammation, because if the body is grounded, you can't have inflammation. This is so incredible. This is Nobel Prize material. There's like, yeah, 20, 21 published studies in the medical literature on earthing and grounding. And this is peer review stuff. In simple terms, what earthing does is literally, it squenches the fires of inflammation. And if inflammation is the source of all root illnesses, including Alzheimer's disease, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, I mean, the list goes on and on. If you can impact inflammation and, you know, squelch it, kill it, stop it, we're going to be healthier beings. Go outdoors, take your shoes off, stand barefoot on the earth or sit on the earth, put your feet and your hands on the earth, and you will instantly notice the pain and inflammation begin to drain from your body. I got my life back is probably the most common refrain that I hear. Thank you, I got my life back. I got my life back. What I want to introduce you to here today is something called the Inner Director Meditation. It's a way of priming your day to make sure you start off and you show up in the world in the way that you want so that you're not getting sidetracked, you're not getting out of focus, and you're strengthening the focus on what you want in your life. Now, this meditation has been known by many names in many traditions, but it's a way to go through your day first and set it up so that it's set up for success. So take a few sips of coffee or tea, get comfortable and relax. Now, first thing I want you to do here is just take three slow, full breaths. Forget about what happened already in the day. Forget about what's going to happen or maybe stressing you out. And we're gonna pause here for three breaths. And the first thing I want you to do is very simple. I want you to close your eyes and see yourself waking up in the morning and you walk and get out of bed. And the first thing you notice is how well rested you feel. You feel healthy, you feel strong, you feel flexible. There's no stiffness, no areas of discomfort, there's no pain, you feel young. If there's any illness or any health problems you're going through, they're gone. And as you think of that, as you feel that in your body, it makes you feel happy. 
and a small smile begins to kind of creep over your face. And as you walk out of your bedroom, you walk into the mirror in the bathroom, and you look at yourself and you just smile because you think, damn, I look good. There's nothing you'd want to change about your physical body. It's your ideal physique that you've worked so hard for. And the amount of energy you have feels like you could pursue any goal. You could book any trip to any adventure around the world. You could walk 10 miles. You could show up to the day job and come home and work on something you're passionate about. It's the kind of energy where people think there's almost something wrong with you because you're in such a good mood and the inside of you feels so good constantly. Now, as you leave your house, you begin to go about your day and you see yourself go through your commute to school or to work and you show up at work and rather than a feeling of, uh, there's a feeling of excitement because now you're showing up to do the work that you feel most excited to do and most called to do. And I want you to visualize yourself going throughout the day of your perfect work day. So whatever that looks like, that could be playing in a garden. It could be playing with orphan children. It could be playing with puppies or some other animal. But I want you to see yourself waking up and doing the work you always dreamed you could do. If you won the lottery, if you could go anywhere and be anyone, you're now doing it. It is here. And I want you to see the difference in terms of the way it gives meaning to your life, where you are so grateful that for the first time in your life, you wake up and you do exactly what you have always wanted to do since you were a kid. It's that feeling of every day is Friday. There is no Monday. There is no Sunday. Every day is the best day ever. It's like Christmas morning. Next, I want you to visualize the closest people in your life, your friends, your family, maybe extended family, extended friend group, maybe even your coworkers. And whatever agitation or annoyance or disharmony has been showing up is gone. And instead, there's just a feeling of gratitude that you see yourself surrounded by close friends and close family, and they all get you 100% from the top to the bottom, outside to inside. They get you, they support you in everything you're doing, and they really, really understand what you are trying to do. And after work and on the weekends, you always have tons of friends and tons of family to do things together, whatever those events may be, whether it's dinner or walking the dogs in the park or a family reunion or drinking a glass of wine and reminiscing about life. You feel abundant in terms of the close relationships and the close friends that you have. And around this time, you think about how fulfilled you feel. You feel like you have all of the things, both internal and external, that you've always wanted. And there is no feeling of scarcity or a feeling of lack. There's only a feeling of excitement and gratitude for how awesome life is. That it's so unbelievably good that you wonder what you did to deserve it. It is that good. And as you go about this perfect day, where you are the director of your own story, you are the one creating the narrative because you are the creator. You have the same consciousness that has created entire worlds and universes. As you go through this day, you see yourself come home, you lay down in your bed and close your eyes and a small smile creeps up on your face as you lay down and you feel so grateful because today was your perfect day. 
and every day can be that perfect day. And there's nothing that you would change about your life.